Welcome to the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast. This is a show about pushing through obstacles and hard times in order to live a happy and fulfilled life. I'm your host, Ted Faton, and it's a pleasure to have you joining us. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Let's grow. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast. And I mean, bittersweet to say the final episode of the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast, at least for now. We're not going anywhere. We, we do have a change coming in. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to, to join us, listen to us and be with us. And you're probably familiar with me giving a shout out to my executive producer, Andre Suttles, Subtle Solution Media for helping to make this podcast possible, but he is here in the flesh, on the call. What's going on, Dre? What's going on? How you living, brother? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It, it's it's amazing sitting down recording this episode, which is kind of the end of an era, but the beginning yeah. of another. And obviously figured it was appropriate to finish it the way we started. Me and you kind yeah, of going in the trenches. And for some of the listeners who've been loyal to us for a while and have listened to a lot of recent episodes, might not have heard heard the episodes with you in them or, or whatnot, give obviously a quick introduction for some of those new listeners that have joined us here in the past few months into who you are, what you do, and, and how we linked up, man. Yeah. So uh, my name's Andre Suttles. I am a brother, you know, dog owner, fiance, soon to be married. You know, but I run a production company here in Greenville, uh, Subtle Solution Media. Produced this podcast with you, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been fun. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah, that's that's kind of me. That's where I'm at. I'm here in Greenville, man. Just been doing a lot. Author. Just been figuring things out, man. Been putting the pieces into place. Been been leveraging a lot of things, and it's it's just been fun, man. Yeah, it's been an amazing journey in in terms of kind of amazing to hear where we are now when you say, you know, fiance yeah. and, and stuff. Right. We were so young in our, like in our infancy when we first linked up. And when I say young yeah. and in our infancy, it's not like we were little kids or anything, but we were so new into this world that we now have had experiences in. Yeah. And, and, you know, and shout out to my team out in San Antonio Lang and everybody with uh, Daniel Gomez Inspires, who've who've done a lot of the work and the and the heavy lifting on the back end of this podcast. While we've gone yeah. on through some of some of our most significant growth here in recent months, but for anybody that doesn't know, we linked up off of a whim, man. And I think this mm. was one of the first affirmations that we learned about what we learned in the lessons from this No Rain No Rainbows podcast was taking that jump, right where the mm-hmm dreams that you want to live lay on the winds of the sky and you need to jump. And most people ask, what if I fall? But the counter to that is what if you fly? And it's just understanding like when you set your sights on what you want to do, the universe will conspire to help you accomplish that. As a matter of fact, for anybody watching on YouTube over my shoulder, we have the book, The Alchemist right here. Mm -hmm. Great book. See the little cover right there? Yeah, see, you have the alchemist in the back. Right there, <laughs> there too. The little cover. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you know, and it talks about your personal legend. You know, when you decide what it is you want in life, the universe is going to conspire to help you accomplish it. And it will test you and it will give you some tests along the way. But I think, you know, the alchemist is a huge kind of metaphor into the experience of when I said to my friend Charles, I'm doing a podcast. I'm going to do it on my phone. He's like, nah, bro, I just met this kid. He just graduated. He reached out to me, wants me to mentor him. He does media. I'm going to link you up. And from the very first episode, man, me and you were linked up on No Rain, No Rainbow. Yeah. I was about to record on my phone. Yeah, I remember the day we met in the in the office. I remember I walk into you're sitting on the you're sitting on Charles's Charles' old office in Main Street. Yeah. And you're sitting on that little couch and you're like, what's up, dog? <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, what's up, man? <laughs> we, about to, we, about to, we about to do this. Yeah, man, that was that was crazy, actually. Yeah, I remember um, I've walked past Charles' office so many times back in the day, and I was like, you know, I don't have a studio. Let me DM this man and see if I can rent his office out to, you know, take some photos. And, man, years later, look at us. Mm-hmm. And we have 39 pages worth of episodes. The very first one was the intro. The very second episode of No Rain, No Rainbow says, I challenge you with Andre Suttles. And yeah. really talking about, man, when I say we were in our infancy, we had learned so much already up until that point in our lives, but we had no idea in terms of the journey we were about to embark on 
when it comes to event planning, business ownership, you know, talking to mm. business owners, seeking sponsorships, finding new guests to be on the show. Talk a little bit about the journey from when we started the podcast. And a lot of these things yeah. were auxiliary outside of the podcast too, right? Like we were just living life and looking for that next next growth. But this is kind of the testament to the growth that happened during No Rain, No Rainbows and some of the, the advice and the actionable steps that we applied in our lives moving through our everyday lives outside of recording. Talk about some of the experiences and the growth that you had in conjunction and in parallel with the podcast. Yeah. So I would say the number one thing that I learned throughout throughout the journey is that if you're not being challenged, you're not growing. And I say that because there were so many times that me and you made mistakes on it and we would literally look at each other and kind of like chuckle and be like, bro, <laughs> we like, we finally, you know, saying like low key, we were happy, but we, we were sad, but it was like, yeah. man, we finally did it. So now we can know what not to do. Like, I remember it was probably like 20 something episodes. We couldn't get the audio right. Remember? Yeah. Like literally, literally we could not get the audio and we changed nothing. But um, just realizing that being challenged is part of growth is being part of you innovating that process to make it better, you know, and throughout that, I, I would say that a lot of the people that we had on the podcast were, were very motivational people. You know, there are people who wanted to see us win. There are people who wanted to see us achieve what we wanted to achieve. And I would say that that paralleled with the modern man, because, you know, the modern man is something that we like it just expanded from the podcast essentially. And it's something that, you know, encourages a lot of people motivated me to inevitably, I'll say there's like three, four factors that, that kind of inevitably made me just go out and write my book. Like I'd always kind of be scared, like a little scared to write a book, but inevitably there were things that, that I went through in the podcast, people that I met who I don't believe in coincidences. I think that's God's way of staying anonymous, you know? Yeah. And there were people that I met and I was like, yo, this is not supposed to be a coin. Like I'm supposed to be meeting them right now, right here. And I'm, you know, like there's a reason that's happening. Like, yeah. Why am I? And it was, I remember that manual episode was one. There was an episode at the modern man when we did a prank. Like I was like, there's things that are happening where I'm like, man, I should be. These are people who are pouring into me and they're like, come on, man. Like you got it in you, you know? Yeah. So, um, just learning to have those people around you that can push you to achieve what you want and who also want to see you win is something that you almost kind of, you don't take it for granted because you're, you're thankful for those people, but it's something that you kind of like gravitate towards. Yeah. You know? Like me and you talk, well, I remember you talked on, you were talking on Clubhouse the other night about how like, man, we're attracted to people who are doing things. Like, I want to <laughs> see you doing things and I'm trying to see you hit that goal. Like, let me let me shoot you the text. Like, where are you at this week, big dog? Like, help you shoot me the text too, you know? Like, we want to be around people who are who are growing, who are trying to achieve things and who are failing successfully, you know? Yeah. So things like that. Man, our first episode was in 2018. And I'm looking at a picture of the short hair. But the short hair, yeah, all oh, the yeah. hair was long and everything. Yeah. But you're so right in terms of the people that we met and the way that it, it coincided with other avenues in our lives and kind of talking about the inception of modern man was part of having a podcast, reaching out to business owners, one of being Tyler Harris, who, who saw what we were doing. And I just mentioned this goal of modern man. And, you know, you mentioned coincidences, right? It's God's way of staying anonymous. You know, I, I could pray over and over again for the ability to do modern man. And then here comes a business owner who sees something in me and says, Hey, I got a camera. Let's go. And yeah. for anybody who's been a fan and has been rocking with us since 2018, you know, we've had modern man episodes since then. And it, it gained so much of its own attention that it had to become its own thing. Yeah. And that's kind of what the inception of this episode today is really all about is yeah. No Rain, No Rainbows was a podcast that was born out of a time of necessity for myself in terms of being the yin to a yang in which I was in the realm and the chapter of which I was living in. And because of that, it provided a lot of closure and a lot of therapy for me along the way. And I think a lot of listeners benefited from that as well. At least that was my hope. But looking through some of these episodes that we've had along the way in terms of how networks came together, Courtney Epps was one of the episodes from yeah. December 2018. I remember you were like, hey, it's we awesome. need to have this lady on the podcast. Now she's talking with freaking Tony Robbins. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. 
So that was one degree of separation. That was a episode yeah. of 2018. Jay do another episode where that was hugely impactful and how he's gotten yeah. national attention for his one voice show. Scrolling through to, we did a, one on the importance of accountability. Charles Russ, Ryan Alford with his podcast. He's got the Rad Pat, the Rad yeah. Podcast, the Radcast, right? That's consistently one of the top 100 podcasts in America on Spotify and Apple iTunes. So we were crossing paths and sitting down with some amazing people. And man, I have to, I have to say March 6th, 2019, it was a modern man episode on the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast, live your life with passion. And I just wanted to mention that because I just scrolled through and the guest on that episode was a wonderful, and I say was unfortunately in past tense, it was a wonderful man of God, Dave Walton, who, who literally passed mm-hmm. the week of this podcast. Granny, Another one we've had on the podcast. Yeah. I'm sharing this just to kind of first for anybody listening who's sitting on the cusp of starting that project, starting that venture, starting that mm-hmm. that thing, that business, that book, that whatever it might be, and they don't think they have the tools to do it. When you jump, the tools will expose themselves. They say the teacher appears when the student is ready, right? And it's true for the opposite. The, the student appears when the teacher is ready. So It's not until you take that jump that the tools, the resources, the mentors, and everything you need to be successful in that venture will appear. But if you spend your life waiting for the perfect time, you're going to wait until the unfortunate, unfortunate reality of regret appears. Shout out to Dave Walton and and all the previous guests we've had on the podcast, man. It's been quite a journey. Man, it has. I remember when we hit a hundred, man, I was like, no way. (laughs) Yeah. A hundred raindrops and counting, and and I'm still scrolling through some of these previous episodes. And you just, I mean, 39 pages, and here we are on what I would say is our final chapter of this saga, because yeah. we are going towards our next chapter in life, right? And and that's why this episode is called Chasing Rainbows. So after the journey through the podcast, and you mentioned fiance, dog, dad, yeah. and all those things, man. What are some of the dreams, the goals, and and the rainbows that you are now chasing? in your life and you hope to maybe bring it to fruition here shortly? Yeah. So for me, continue to scale subtle social media. I've currently hired, finally hired a mentor, business mentor, man, and um, business coach rather, and I'm looking to scale that and looking to have now have a gaming trailer company. Yeah. That's an enclosed trailer, gaming trailer, mobile kind of on the go type of thing. Looking to make that not only seasonal, but um, more of a entity in the wedding industry, mm-hmm. the wedding and event industry and looking to get married, looking forward to getting married, man. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be one of the, one of the best days of my life. So look forward to getting married, man. And yeah, man, there's multiple business ventures that I think, you know, we both have in mind where we both kind of think like we're, we're, we're pretty entrepreneur people. Like we, we think about things and stuff like that, but um, really narrowing down on a couple on my three to four things and really focusing on them for the next 12 months is going to be my goal. And as far as media goes, it's been fun because I finally have, I finally kind of found a niche where I want to be as far as, you know, which is testament to this podcast, you know, doing like I produce other people's podcasts and, um, you know, I produce YouTube blog type shows and YouTube channels and stuff. So um, things like that, where it's just being able to have that confidence over the years to be able to charge what I need to charge, to be able to do what I need to do, to be able to to be as creative as I want to be, and also feel happy along the way, you know. Yes. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm chasing now. My thing is making sure that I find that happy balance between being happy and having that free time that I that I want, and also being content with where I am in life while also chasing that dream that I need to chase, you know. Mm-hmm. Because one thing I have learned over these past two, three years is that, you know, tomorrow's not promised. There's over these past two years, I've lost like three or four people that I know personally. And it's been, it's been weird. Cause like you, everyone was fine the day before. Yeah. Like everyone was fine. So finding that balance between understanding that you worked for this life. So, so kind of appreciate it. it right now and enjoy it. Yeah. And realize that, yeah, you're not exactly where you want to be, but you have more than than some you know so enjoy that be grateful for that be thankful for that be thankful for that relationship be thankful for that opportunity be thankful for you know whatever you have in your life that you're thankful and grateful for so yeah i'm that happy balance between that work you know 
That's mm-hmm. one reason I hired that business coach. I'm like, man, there's got to be a way to not, for me to make six figures and not be working as much as I am. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's the reality where it's like, you know, you see other people do it and you say, hey, teach me. And that's yep. where the humility comes in, in, right? And a lot yeah. of us, we've been talking. And when we started this, I will be wholeheartedly honest. When I started this podcast, I was hoping to be in a spot like where I am now. And now that I'm in a spot that I'm in now, I'm hoping to be in a different spot because the growth is just yeah. kind of always moving, moving the finish line, right? But it's not a life of dissatisfaction. It's a life of mm-hmm. this, this blissful pursuit, right? I'm enjoying the hunt. I'm enjoying the journey and the practice along the way and the growth that happens. And to your point, what I've learned recently is giving myself grace, giving mm-hmm. myself the ability to slow down and, and take a breath and enjoy a date night, enjoy some fun here and there. Uh, and I think that's what's kind of led to this Chasing Rainbows episode in terms of, and I don't want to do anything halfway. I don't want to mm-hmm. do anything that's going to take advantage of the time that someone giving to listen to this podcast or really follow what we're doing. And Mm -hmm. my self-reflection and my work had to go into sometimes when you have limited time and life has kind of become more and more focused with family for me, I need to be more specific in where I spend my excess time. And having Mm -hmm. the modern man and the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast were two entities that I wholeheartedly care about. But when I really looked into it, which one was near and dear to my heart? And which one was the goal in which I think I can provide the most value where I can give the most help. And I think that's in the mission of modern man. I think I can Mm -hmm. truly help men build communities because I think that's one thing that we did really well. And when I think of the book by Jim Rohn, Built to Last and Good to Great, he talks about good to great. The greatest companies in the world are the best in the world at what they do. What I think modern man can be, I think it could be the best in the world at connecting men in pursuit of their potential. Mm-hmm. I wholeheartedly believe that. And I've seen that through the evidence of the way we lived our lives. The connection yeah. Charles has put me in touch with you to do this podcast and the connections that came about from the podcast for us to get to where we are now. It's no mistake. The practice and the mission of modern man has already been operated in the way we live our lives. So with that being said, I only think it's going to be more beneficial to the audience of the of the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast, which is now going to be moving forward, the Modern Man podcast. Absolutely. Yes. Turn it up. <laughs> yes. That's the announcement. <laughs> there you go. You know what I love about this, man? It's not an end, man. It's a pivot. We talk yeah. about this so much, man, because there's <laughs> there's times in our lives where we have chapters, you know? And like, man, you moved up to Charlotte. That doesn't mean we don't chat. And you you come through every time you're in Greenville, like, you know, you got a, a place to stay, you know, yeah. and vice versa. So um, just realizing that it's a pivot and kind of going back to, to what you said, man, like really like the modern man conferences that we throw, man, you and I both know that those were our biggest challenges that didn't involve our direct like we weren't mon- we weren't getting paid for those you know what yeah. i'm saying like it's something that was not like we didn't have to 100% do that but we wanted to do that and that was something that was a challenge and you and i both know like at the end of the day when we finish the conference we're like you're like dre i'm about to go eat what you about to do i'm like bro i'm going to the house yes. thank you my boy i appreciate yeah. you <laughs> oh yeah <Good> to see you <laughs> you know what i'm saying but like those are things that we actually feel accomplished, you know, like I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in the, in the way you carry yourself. Like we feel we feel glad, you know, we feel happy. We feel accomplished. We feel like we did something positive. Yeah. And those are things that we're going to continue to do moving forward and just realizing that some things take more time. And we grew to that point. Me and you never like we didn't used to the modern man wasn't like we always dreamt of doing live conferences and virtual events. But now we're like doing it and we're like, okay, we need some, let's do this. Like, let's, let's really lock in on that. You know, let's see where it can take us. So the experience is there now. It's like, Hey, you know, if if a virtual conference, we've done that live conference, you know, only thing is like, Hey, hybrid conference conference, we can do that. And it's the confidence in what we're able to do now and the things we're able to execute, which is why, you know, I can only imagine the benefits and the growth that the modern man will have with 100% of my attention on the outside of what I'm doing every day. Yeah. And that is the honest analysis of, you know, between no rain, no rainbows and modern man, 
I apologize if it wasn't a hundred percent on both sides. And because yeah. of that, merging this brand and making it all honed in on the modern man and the mission of connecting men in pursuit of their potential, solving male isolation, encouraging men to show up as their best selves in their mm-hmm. everyday lives. I think that is the mission that I really pour into. I think I'm going to grow in. And I think we are going to have a chance to really change some lives for the better. And that Absolutely. doesn't mean that you have to be a man to listen to the content. Yeah, I was just going to say, women you don't, don't have to be a man to listen you. to we the just content. Ch- we just talked about that before. You know, <laughs> being being able to uh, to connect and, and help each other is something that's very important. So I'm excited yeah. for it, man. I appreciate it, man. And I appreciate you taking the journey with the No Rain, No Rainbows podcast from the beginning to the end, the lessons, the setbacks, the growth, the peaks, the valleys, and really the successes and the celebrations all along the way, man. I wouldn't have done it with anybody else, bro. I feel you, man. Likewise. <laughs> yeah. Likewise, man. Any last word? Life friends from a podcast. I was right. Groomsmen in your wedding, man. That's wild. Yes. From a podcast. <laughs> feel me? So, oh, man. If that's any encouragement for somebody that has a project, right? That has that podcast that they want to start, Mm -hmm. just do it, start it, jump, go for it. You have no idea the benefits and the, and the fruits that are going to come about from it. Because when I started the podcast, I had a thought and an idea and a a passion for modern man. I didn't know the podcast Mm -hmm. was going to be my path to it. When I started the podcast, I had, you know, an idea and a passion for a rainbow that I wanted to chase. I didn't know what that rainbow was and I know what it is now. So I would also say that thing that you're hoping to get out of that project you're trying to do might not be what you get. Mm. You might just get something better. Mm. Might just get something better. And that's why it's worth that journey because you would be shocked at where that next step would lead. It's not going to be the destination. It's just the next step of the journey. And it's not the final chapter. It's just the current chapter because you have a big book to write and there's going to be a lot of chapters along the way. Any last words of, of wisdom, encouragement, excitement, or love? Oh, uh, man, I would just say whatever, same thing you said, man, whatever you're doing, whatever you're, you've been thinking about doing, what's been on that back burner, you've been procrastinating it, just, just start walking, start taking some steps towards it. Mm-hmm. Figure out what it is, my kind of words of encouragement, or figure out what you need to achieve that within the next 48 hours. Write down those things, write them down. What would you need to do to, to get that first episode out? What would you need to do to to sell that first piece of candy, to sell that first candle? What would you need to do to, you know, write that first page in that book, right? Write down those things that you need and slowly start to check those off. And you'll realize that you'll slowly start to motivate yourself into in the completing that project. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. I encourage everyone to, to continue to follow, follow Ted, follow myself. Um, This doesn't mean that we're stopping. We're just pivoting to another, just pivoting to another area. There's, there's multiple ways that that we're still going to provide content and still be here and still provide stories for people. And um, we're just excited to really kind of hit the next chapter, so to say, you know, like, I feel like we're, we're, we've grown, man. We've grown so much since we met each other, man. Like, (laughs) it's crazy. Like we hit each other up for the, for the craziest things now, you know, like, Mm-hmm. And just being just being able to call someone who I trust and who I can count on, man, it's been it's been an honor doing this thing with you, man. So I'm excited. Yeah, likewise, brother. Sky's the limit, chasing the rainbows. And everybody that's listening, that's been rocking with us, whether it be for a few weeks, whether it be for a long time, we thank you. We appreciate you. We're excited for this next chapter. We're excited for the pivot and the growth. And it only only gets better from here please remember as we say each and every single time at the end of the episode everybody wants the sunshine but they don't want the rain but you can't get the pleasure without a little pain let's grow